Welcome back. It's 746 this Sunday morning. Look at that view of mm. Katahdin. It's beautiful Gosh, right now. So nice. Yeah. There's it's, not much else to say, I right? Know. It's hard I just to even, yeah. Kind of wish I were here or there, you yeah. know? <laughs> not here. There. <laughs> not here. Instead you know what of I mean. here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wish you were here was the song. Yeah. Wish, yeah. wish I was there. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm. Yeah. It's uh, hiking this time of year. I was going to say, it's tough. maybe hiking wouldn't be the best yeah. activity today. Yeah. Um, so it just sounds like it would be brutal mm -hmm. and probably maybe not entirely safe. For yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exerting a little too much energy. Get your hikes in early. Get them in early. Plus, the bugs right now are, are kind of rough. We've been shuttling our children back and forth to Gould Academy up in, uh, in Bethel because they've been doing some soccer camps. And it, Every time we get out of the car, they just get swarmed by bugs. I got to do it again today, but uh, it's worth it. They're having a great time this summer. All right. Yes, a potential heat wave. Portland on Friday, 93. Yesterday, 92. Can we do it again? Personally, I don't think so. I think we're going to come up a couple of degrees short. I could be wrong. I mean, it's happened many times in the past and it's going to happen many more, but I think we're going to come up just shy. Augusta on Friday hit 89. Ugh. Gonna miss it by a degree because yesterday was 92, today's gonna be 93. Bangor, you're gonna get yourselves a heat wave. It was 90 on Friday, 92 yesterday, and 92 degrees, I think, again today. So the Queen City gets a heat wave, the first one of the season. Hazy, hot, humid air mass bubbling up the eastern seaboard. Here's relief, it's a cold front. It's going to kick off some thunderstorms. Some of them will be strong to severe, but they will usher in much better air for the middle of the week. Much more comfortable. Uncomfortable out this morning, and we've already start the rise. We're climbing above 70 right now. Very shortly, it'll be 80 plus and then 90 plus. Dew points in the mid 60s, which is uncomfortable. And I wouldn't be shocked if we see a 70 or higher degree dew point late tonight or tomorrow, preceding that cold front, which will add some instability and in energy for storms tomorrow. Sultry sunshine heating up quick. Now's the time to do the outdoor chores. Um, get close to that time where you can fire up the lawnmower. Hold off a little bit. Maybe just grab another cup of coffee or a half a cup. Or, make breakfast for the kids or something. And maybe by 8.15, 8.30, you can go out there and the neighbors won't be too annoyed with you with the loud uh, lawnmower noise. Triple H's midday, take it easy. Hopefully you can hang out around or in the water. This afternoon, a little better for the coastline. A breeze will develop a little stronger than yesterday's coming in off the water. Won't help in the humidity department because it adds moisture to the air, but it will knock temperatures down a couple of degrees. Also, there may be a few strong storms up in the mountains and north. And then the rest of us will see scattered stuff tonight and then more widespread stronger storms tomorrow. 92 Bangor, 93 Augusta. We covered those. Look at Freiburg. That'll be the hot spot. Freiburg, Bridgeton, uh, the Berwick, Sanford. You know, these places are just going to scorch today. 95 degrees. But after those storms get out of here, we get relief. The humidity breaks, the heat breaks, lots of sunshine. Tuesday and Wednesday look stunning, folks. End of the week, humidity returns, a front moves back in, and we see a chance for some more showers and storms, but not until like Thursday at the end of the week. I think this is how tomorrow plays out. A little rain and some cloud cover in the morning. We develop midday hazy sunshine. It gets warm and sticky and pretty warm, hot out there. And then a broken line of storms forms. Some will be strong to severe with the primary concern, damaging wind gusts and torrential rain. And it looks like the timing will be early to mid afternoon, not a late afternoon event. So it should get better by late afternoon and evening with the storms moving off the coast and the fresher air working in. Small crafts are up. That wind will be stronger today for boaters out on the water mid to late afternoon. It'll start cranking a little bit. Hazy, hot, humid, 92, 80s tomorrow, very muggy with showers and storms, and then perfect for Tuesday and Wednesday. Humidity builds back in Thursday and Friday with a shower and storm chance again. Feels like a very typical July Certainly forecast is. in Maine. Yeah, it is. Late Can't July, complain. you gotta like it. All right, thank you, Todd.